After a two-year wait, the Wench's 2023 Bronco finally arrives. Morning, peeps. Dad Pants here with another project. As you can see in the background, that's the Wench's Bronco, and we're getting ready to render it topless. Well, semi-topless. Actually, what we're going to do is install a best top um, soft top, convertible top for a trip down to Florida that's coming up later this week. So we'll do a little time lapse and a few photos as we go along and you can see how the project goes. Cheers. If you put the retainers on the back corner here, there's a little trim piece right down there. This is the trim piece. That does not go back into place with the soft top hardware on. Now, when we put the hard top back on next, next uh, fall, when this piece is removed, we can put this trim piece back in, but we'll stow it for the summer. Okay, now come fall, when we take this apart, the side window retaining rail is installed with the OEM bolts here and here, but it's retained to the back corner piece right here. So I believe this entire assembly, both the corner piece and the side uh, window retainer can be, re can be taken off at once, basically leaving the small bolt in place and removing the large bolts here, 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 there and then down below this panel when you pull this panel out there's one other small bolt there and that whole assembly should come out as one and that'll be a lot easier to take apart than uh, than doing it individually and here's some views of some of the brackets that have to be installed on the halo or the cage in order to support the bows for the soft top and there are duplicates obviously on both sides <laughs> Hey guys, Dad Pants back. I just got finished getting the best top on the uh, the Bronco for Denise. I think she's gonna like it. We'll take a look here, right behind me. Oh, she blows. Kind of a cool looking soft top on this. I like the shape of it. It went on pretty pretty easily. Um, followed the instructions. Oddly enough, also had a great. Uh, video on it on the top installation was available on YouTube that helped a lot probably three hours start to finish the biggest challenge is getting those soft windows on and off they, they slip into a channel and right now the plastic is super stiff because it's only about 45 degrees out so but I think in the summertime we'll get it better let's do a run around around the whole vehicle to show you what it looks like the shape and the contours it looks like the back windows have about the same tint that we put on the front, so the whole look still is as good as it was with the hardtop. I really like the way this red Bronco looks with the hardtop on, um, but it's taking shape. We've got our tow hooks on the front, we've got the Ford OEM tow hooks, the red ones, and down below we've got Rough Country tow hooks, which I'm going to utilize when we tow it with the tow bar. Couple LED cubes in the front. Pretty much everything else we've done has really been on the interior. Well, not everything, I beg your pardon. But we did do uh, mud flaps from WeatherTech front and rear. The tires stick out quite a ways, and this, this thing's gonna be pretty muddy if we don't use that. But interior wise, uh, done a custom steering wheel wrap, came up pretty nicely. Got bar tacked 
rope handles up there. This top is really pretty cool though, back to the best top. It's got a couple of zippered pouches up there for sunglasses and the like. Uh, seal's really tight. Got another little bar tack pouch over here for cell phones, pistol, and then uh, also door bags that we installed. We located these uh, clamber Nerf bar running board combos. That was an essential for Wench to climb up into this, this thing for sure. And then we've installed a trailer hitch. We got one that has a little bit more of an extension because that, that tire sticks out a long ways here. Given that it's the Sasquatch package, I won't have enough clearance to get the bike rack on the back. I've already done a wiring job on it for, uh, for trailer lights or tail lights in the bike rack.